Hey everyone, this is Taylor, and today we are going to do three circle songs and a book. I love doing circle and music with my kiddos because it's a great way to get your kids to learn attending skills, develop language skills. Music's great if you have siblings because they can both sit together and you can do a nice quick circle song. Circles are usually only 10 minutes in group, but honestly, for kids learning attending skills, you can just do one song and be all done. And story as well. I will normally not read the letters or read the words in the story. I usually will just comment what's on the book and also be pretty repetitive because kids need to learn or hear the words several times before they actually say it. So if your kid's learning to sit and attend to a book, I would recommend maybe just doing a page and then being all done and building up from there. So I like to tell parents that we don't need to necessarily force our kids to sit for a book. It's nice just to pick a book that they're really interested in. So if they like cars or dinosaurs, pick a book about those subjects and then build up from there. Um, and then also really drawing out consonants and sounds when you're doing stories to help them work on those individual speech sounds. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We are gonna start for circle. So here we go. Taylor's here today. Taylor's here today. Let's all shout hooray, cause Taylor's here today. This would also be a great time to go around the circle if you have any siblings or anyone else who's sitting and sing who's here today. We are gonna start with our first song. We are going to start with the mixing song. And we're gonna start here. Go. We're stirring and stirring and stirring our cake. Time and we're gonna go super fast. Here we go. We're stirring and stirring and stirring our cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mix, 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 bake! Okay, we're gonna be all done with that song. And we're gonna do the hat song. Okay, we have our bowl or our hats in our lap. Here we go. Oh, I wish I had a special hat to put up on my head. I take it off and tap, tap, tap and put it on again. Great job. We're gonna do it one more time, but go super fast. Here we go. Oh, I wish I had a special hat to put up on my head. I take it off and tap, 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 and put it on again. Okay, that song is all done. We have one more song to do. We're gonna do boat. Row your boat. I have the boat right here. Here we go. Row, row. Row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Stop. Okay, we're gonna do it fast now, super fast. Okay, here we go. <gasps> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Stop. Okay, that was really good. Now we're going to go slow and quiet. Shh. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Stop. Okay. Our songs are all done. We did three songs. We did the boat. And we did the stirring and our hat song. Now it's time to finish with our book. Our book is Murray Goes for a Walk. It's a Sesame Street story. I like these books because they can be repetitive. It's a great way to target language and 
They're really cheap. You can get them at the Dollar Tree and there's several different books. It's also fantastic because a lot of kids like Elmo. And so if you have kids that have trouble sitting, picking an, um, a category or a character that they love in the story is a great way to work on that. Okay, Murray goes for a walk. <gasps> Murray is going for a walk today. The sun is out, it's beautiful, and he's going for a walk. He says, bye friends, bye Elmo, I'm going for a walk. Bye-bye, I'll see you later. On his walk, he says hi to lots of friends. He says, hi Big Bird, he's reading the newspaper. He says, hi Bert and Ernie, he, they're sweeping the street. He loves to go for walks and see all of his friends. He also likes to look at all of the clouds in the sky. One, two, Murray sees two clouds. <gasps> On the walk, he sees the fire truck. Rear, rear, rear. Oh my goodness, it's super loud. The fire truck is super loud. Murray covers his ears because the fire truck is loud but he likes to see the fire truck drive by super fast. He says, bye fire truck, bye fire truck. He also says, hello puppy. The puppy is friends with the firemen and he's waiting for them to come back. On the walk, he sees Elmo giving his dog a bath. The dog says, woof, woof. He also sees the birds in the sky. The bird says, Tweet, tweet, tweet. And then he sees his other friend playing in the sandbox. I like to play in the sandbox and go to the park too, says Murray. Murray is starting to get tired, so he decides to walk home. He starts to smell something delicious. He smells Elmo eat and his spaghetti. Eat. He smells Elmo eating spaghetti and it smells delicious. He likes to noodles as well. So on his walk, Elmo says, hi, it's time to eat. Come back, Murray, and have dinner with us. And Murray says, oh, I'm so hungry. Thank you, I'll be right over. After his walk and after he eats, Murray is super tired and goes back home and takes a long nap. The book is all done. It is time to sing our all done song. We're gonna rub our hands together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Circles over for today. Now it's time to go and play.